All right, it's time to get cooking with Nanny Bubby, and today she's making mascarpone and lemon thyme gnocchi with thyme tarragon butter sauce. In other words, it's something very yummy. How are you, Nanny Bubby? It's great to see you. I am great, JC. It's so nice to see you as well. So I have to tell you that we're starting with the back side of this, showing you the completed gnocchi over here, and we're going to be putting it into um, the dish. Uh, just a note to the control room, we cannot see anything on our camera, so we don't know what we're shooting. If you can correct that on your end, but I'll continue plowing through. This is the gnocchi that we're making. This is brown butter sauce. This is going to be sitting over here. Mm. And what I'm going to do now is show you exactly how to make it. And just a word of the wise, as you take gnocchi and you put it onto the sheet pan, you can take this and just freeze your sheet pan overnight for um, three to four hours at the, at the least amount of time and overnight. And then you can just take your gnocchi, throw it in a Ziploc bag, and then pull it out anytime you want. So the thing about gnocchi is it sounds so daunting to make gnocchi, but it's actually so simple. So let's get cooking, and I'll show you how to do it, okay? You make so we're everything gonna start look with... easy. By the way, you oh, do. everything my... looks Thank so you easy so much. When, you, when you're doing it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Eight ounces, a cup of mascarpone cheese, which is Italian cream cheese. Over here with that, we're going to put in a cup of Parmesan cheese. There we go, freshly grated. And then we're going to put in two lemons that have been zested. There we go. Less zested. One quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg. Can you see that in the bowl? Are you able to get in the bowl? Yeah, we yep. see the bowl. And, and we're going to take about, the screen yep, too. about a tablespoon about a tablespoon at a time and then leave the rest for sprinkling as we get to the end and then we're going to take two eggs so this is the tip of the day never put a, an egg just in whatever you're mixing whether it's gnocchi or cake or whatever it is first crack it into a bowl because you can get a bad egg and if you cracked it into this bowl well you would have to actually throw out the whole batter and you don't want to do this so that's one egg and one egg yolk there we go. Let's just let the egg, whoa, let me just pull that egg yolk out right into here. There we go. And we're done with that. Okay, so we're just going to mix it really lightly with a fork. Mix it all in. And then we're going to add the flour. So just in the interest of time, let me just show you how easy this is, especially once the mascarpone is room temperature. There we go. And you're just going to mix this all up with a fork till it becomes a really, really sticky, sticky, sticky dough. So I'm going to hand this off to intern Megan. And this dough was made just a little bit earlier today. And what you do is you take two spoons like this and just make a really cool little oval and then boop, drop it into a pie plate just with all-purpose flour that you use to make your gnocchi. Boop, right into there. Let me turn this off. We'll do just one more. Don't you love my sound effects? Well, I work very hard on this every key. week. That's the key <laughs> when you're making this this weekend for your family. You've got to do the fun. you got to do the nanny bubble. Yep. The so stuff. There you go. So we're sprinkling this with flour, and then we're um, just going to roll them into like little ovals, sh um, shuffle all the dough off. Ready? You thumb in, and then you roll it with your three fingers. This is a gnocchi roller. You can get it on Amazon. And there you go, just like that. One more. There we go. If you make a mistake, just start again. So there you go. Here we have taken this gnocchi. We are just putting the brown butter sauce over the top like this. We're going to put Pecorino Romano cheese over the top of the gnocchi, just like that. Some thyme and a little sprinkle of thyme. And now do I have thyme, no pun intended, to taste it? Oh, let us know how good it is. It looks delicious. Oh my Everything God! You I make looks delicious. I wish you were here. Or I were there. Mmm, mmm, oh. so good. Mmm, the lemon. Mmm, that's it. Well, you know, Nanny Bubby, the show ends at three thirty. Rocky and I can be there by four o'clock if you want to save some for us. Okay, come along. I've got a platter full and more dough that I'm going to mix over there and get it done. But at the end of the day, what are we going to do? We're going to go out and spread love. Spread like butter. Love like butter. Of course I know that. That's what I do this weekend. We love it. Yeah, there you go. Have a great, great weekend and enjoy your gnocchi. Same to you, Nanny Bubby. Check out Nanny Bubby's Kitchen and Garden on social media and online at nannybubby.com. And thank you to Chapman Automotive for sponsoring this segment.